Hi, this is Happy Bird from HappyBirdsCraftingHaven.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet little uh, trinket box for mom out of Dollar Tree items. Now, I found these magnetic boxes from the Dollar Tree. They didn't have any glitter on them or anything like that. They were just plain boxes. And this one said, Believe All Things Are Possible. And then I picked up um, a couple of the Cherish the Simple Things and I decided to um, make some really cute special Mother's Day gifts for uh, different people this year. Um, I don't have my mom with me this year. This is the first year that I've been without her. Um, she passed away last June. So I decided to kind of focus on other people in my life that might appreciate something simple like this. So um, I'll show you how I did this. I used Dollar Tree items, well with the exception of the buttons that I showed you how to make um, in my last tutorial. Um, but I'll show you what I did here. And um, I'm going to be working actually on this box. I actually recorded this video yesterday and I tried to put it up and for some reason it was giving me problems as far as um, the definition. You know, the quality of the film was just really bad. So I had to do it all over again this morning. <laughs> um, now, the first thing that I did to the box was I took some Mod Podge Super Gloss and this is different. It's, it's not like the orange label. Um, the one with the orange label, the Mod Podge uh, with the orange label is more like a glue and this is a gloss as you can see okay. so um, I'll close that so you'll need the gloss and it's best if you have like a disposable cup or something like that that you can put a little bit of this Mod Podge in. One thing I learned is no matter how careful I tried to be, um, whenever there's glitter around, if you don't put the Mod Podge in a separate cup, you're going to end up with Mod Podge in here. And unfortunately I learned the hard way. So, <laughs> just a little tip. So, um, what I did was I took a brush, a little foam brush, and I took some of the Mod Podge gloss and I just made straight even lines and I did a fairly thin layer for the for the first um, layer of gloss and then once I put that thin layer on in straight even strokes I I used a real light um, pink glitter and a wonderful gal by the name of Elaine shared a whole bunch of beautiful glitter with me. Thank you Elaine. So sweet of her. And um, so I used what she sent me here and it looks like it's called Tinkerbell. And so I just reached in and took a finger full and sprinkled it like this all over the box to where you know I had some control over how much because I wanted to brighten up the box but I didn't want to cover up the words and so I got the effect that I was looking for so after that I decided it would this box would look really pretty if I put a little flower in the corner and I also added a little butterfly that I made and I used Dollar Tree flowers and I'll show you how I did that. Okay? So I purchased some of these cheap Dollar Tree flowers and as you can tell um, some of the flowers that the Dollar Tree has there's only one layer of petals and so I had to make this look um, fuller. So what I did was I pulled off um, two of the 
larger flowers on here and one of the smaller flowers. Okay, And then I also pulled off one of the leaves here. Okay, So I'm going to do that right here. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And then at the Dollar Tree they also had these little um, stems with these tiny white flowers on it and so I just pulled these off and to tell you the truth I was fiddling around with these and making little um, little flowers to craft with whoops sorry by um, layering the little white flowers and then putting a little tiny um, rhinestone in the middle. So that's what I was doing with those. And then I remembered something that I saw from another tutorial a while back where they made butterflies out of the five petal flowers. So um, I'll show you how I did that. It w this won't be ex the exact tutorial that I saw, but um, it's mine actually is a lot simpler. <laughs> But anyway, I'll show you how I did that. So, with these flowers, they have these little plastic things in the middle. And I'm just going to push those out. Toss them. Like so. So I want to put this in the corner, and I don't really want to cover up the words, but I just want to put it right here in the left-hand corner. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun, my low-temp hot glue gun. I think I want it about here. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to set the second petal a little askew to where these petals here are in between these petals. That way it'll make the flower look a little fuller. Okay, and then the smallest one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set it a little bit askew. And of course I can touch this because this is low temp, this is not hot glue. Okay. Alright. And then I'm going to take one of the pink beads that we used um, to make these shabby chic buttons. Here. And I'm not going to use hot glue for this since this is acrylic. I'm going to use just a little dab of the E6000. So I'm going to place just a little little dab right here and set it in here like so. Now the next thing I'm going to add is the leaf and these leaves that came on this particular bunch of flowers I think is a little bit too large for this box so I'm just gonna fold it here down in the middle and I'm gonna cut my own leaf like so and I think that will be a lot better, fit better, I think. Yeah, I think so. So I'm going to put a little dot of uh, E6000 on that as well. You can also use the Amazing Goop. I just want to make sure that everything that I put on there stays on there. There we go. 
some of these hot glue strings off there. Okay, so we have this so far. Now I thought it would be nice to add a little white butterfly. So I just took one of those cheap white flowers that I showed you that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was I just took the fifth petal and I cut it off. You can, so right at the top here, just snipped it off to where it looked like that. Okay, so now I'm going to um, set this, let me make it this plastic bag here, and I'm going to set this down on it, on the bag. Okay, then I'm going to take some of that chain that I showed you in the last video when um, I made the buttons and I'm going to cut off five stones. So I'm going to take my little nipper tool here and cut it off. Then I'm going to take my my little um, tweezers make sure that's sitting the way I want it to sit and set them here and then I'm going to take let's see you can with this I think I, th I think I'm going to take a little bit of the E6000 just a smidgen I'm going to put right here. You can also use the Amazing Goop. Okay, and I'm going to take this like that, then I'm going to drag it through this E6000, and I'm going to put my finger on one of the petals and just lay this down in the middle like so. See and the fifth bead is just hanging over a little bit so it kind of looks like the head. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little more of that E6000 and I'm going to put just the tiniest amount, hardly anything, on the back and then I'm going to just kind of position it on the flower like that. Okay, now I used stickles and this is a real fine glitter it's irid kind of an iridescent color I found this at Michaels um, it's put out by Ranger you don't have to use stickles this is just glitter glue you can use any kind of iridescent fine glitter glue um, to add to your butterfly so <clears throat> shook it up a little bit and and I'm just going to use the nozzle to kind of paint the wings and this dries fairly quickly and when it does dry it makes the butterfly nice and stiff It'll be really pretty when it's dried. And um, so the next thing I did, and you can use your amazing goop or your E6000. Next thing I did was I glued one of the faux buttons that we made 
right here in the middle where this little magnet is that makes it grab right here because I wanted it to look kind of like a faux knob okay so I'm going to take some E6000 I think for that and put a little bit here I like the jewelry making size E6000 that come um, several in a package because I think I have better control over it than the large tubes and um, so it doesn't get all over the place but that's just my own personal opinion now normally when we put this on um, this would be completely dried so you could just set the box this direction and then just place the button on the top and just let it sit there to dry I'll show you what I was talking about like this we could sit this on the side and then just put the button on the top to dry but since this is still a little wet I think I'm going to just kind of hold it there for a second just to where it grabs because it will grab very quickly once it's on there and I think this looks really pretty in the front now with I'm gonna set this aside for just a second because I'm gonna show you something With these boxes, you can leave it plain, or you can do what I did, and I had some lace, a strand of lace that I bought from a Chinese seller, and it was really cheap. Um, I bought it, you know, off eBay, and I thought that this white butterfly, see that it's a strand, you just cut them apart, and it's, I think this is sold by the yard. Um, I can give you the name of the seller if you'd like, uh, but it does take a while to get here. I think it took like three and a half weeks, four weeks to get here. So if you're in a rush, then <laughs> maybe that's not for you. Um, but I will tell you that I thought that it would look really nice because it kind of carried on the theme of the white butterfly here and then a white butterfly there. And then all I did was I took my, my stickles after I glued this on with um, a little bit of uh, Amazing Goop, just a tiny bit around the edges here and then here. Um, then I went and used the stickles like this all the way around the edges. And I kept this open to dry thoroughly. And, and you really want it dried thoroughly, especially if you're going to be putting things inside the box. And then I just took a little sticky back, flat back heart, and put it right here. And so that's all I did. And what I want to do with these boxes is I want to put a small piece of tissue paper here. Then I want to add like a few of the Dove chocolates. And then I want to put a thin sheet of tissue on the top. And then put a little gift card and then another thin sheet and at the very top you can either place a pair of earrings or like this is a cheap glad I mean a cheap glad oh my goodness I'm sorry about that sometimes I fumble my words a cheap glass uh, bracelet stretchy bracelet that I made quite a while ago and um, you know you can lay that on top of that so there's three things in here three layers it'll be the Dove chocolates the gift card and the bracelet and I'm giving these to three different moms that I really think um, kind of need the uplift and um, it would be and it's a good thing for me to be able to focus on this instead of other things um, this Mother's Day so I really really hope you enjoyed this video uh, I, let's see let me move some stuff around here 
and I really hope you give the button um, tutorial a shot and I think you'll be really surprised just how easy it is to make. I'll go ahead and put the link for the button um, tutorial in case you missed it uh, in this video in the drop down bar. So um, you can go to that link and then try it for yourself. Okay. So we have three little boxes. hope you really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every one of you. You take care. Bye-bye.